Boys, today we are going to be going over 20 of the best and some of the worst walkout songs. I saw a thread of this on Twitter the other day giving me the inspiration for this video. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anyone. And as you can see, we have five criterias added to the playlist. Banger, goes hard, mid, and you're not that guy, pal. And now I have 20 random fighters that I have chosen. Some of them, in my opinion, have some great walkout songs. And some of them, in my opinion, have just some terrible walkout songs. I will take them out one by one at random and put them where they belong. Again, if I missed anyone, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you guys are enjoying this type of content. And I can keep making more of it. But with that being said, let's start off at random with Sean Strickland. Now, for all these walkouts, I'm going to play a little snippet of all of their walkout songs. So make sure you like this video and give me a subscribe because best believe I'm getting copyrighted like a mofo on this video. But with that being said, this is Sean Strickland's walkout song. And I'm not going to lie, it, it does kind of go hard. You know, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it does suit Sean Strickland so well that it has to go in the goes hard category. Next up, we have... The Notorious Conor McGregor and I know a lot of people really love his walkout song. This is it right now. And I'm not gonna lie, I was never the biggest fan of this song. I mean, it's alright, but I'm just, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. It's very, very mid in my opinion. There are so many better songs that would, in my opinion, suit Conor McGregor way more than that one, but... It is what it is. Moving on to Davison Figueredo. And this man's nickname is God of War. And if you guys don't know what his walkout song is, it's this. The Mission Impossible theme song. I'm... I'm, you're not that guy pal. Having the nickname God of War and you're coming out to some Mission Impossible music. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it suits him whatsoever. I'm not a fan of it whatsoever. And yeah, just not that guy, pal. Okay, moving on. Let's bring another legend on the screen. Anderson Silva. If you don't know what his song is, it's this one. Who turn out the lights? Is what niggas be saying. And again, I'm, I don't know. It doesn't really suit him, in my opinion. So it does go hard. That song, it does go hard. But we have to take in consideration the fighter as well. And I just think... It doesn't suit Anderson Silva very well. So I'm going to put him in the mid category. This might be a little controversial, but it is what it is. Moving on to George Masvidal. Now, before the end of his career, the last like three fights, banger. Would have been a banger song to come out to. If you don't know what his song is, it's this one. The Scarface song fits him perfectly, except, you know, are we just forgetting... The fact that he got knocked out and then lost every single fight after that. You know, some of his aura did leave. So it's going to have to go in that goes hard category, unfortunately. And unfortunately, he did lose quite a bit of his aura of this super tough gangster. But, you know, then he goes around sucker punching people. You know, it just automatically has to demote him. Moving on to DC. One of the best to ever do it. If you guys don't know what his walkout song, here it is. We walk the same path, but got on different shoes. Live and in my opinion, this, you're not that guy, DC. You're just not that guy. This song does not suit you whatsoever. I want some more hard. I want some more drill type of music when you walk into the cage. This, in my opinion, just never really fit DC at all. Was never a fan of it. Still not a fan of it. And that song, just like Figueredo, just does not suit him whatsoever. And that's why he's in this category of you're not that guy, pal. Moving to another former champion, Pierre Thurion. Banger. If you guys don't know what his walkout song, here it is. Now, maybe it's just because I have absolutely no idea what they're saying. But this song goes crazy. And I honestly feel like this is like the perfect song for Pierre Young. But unfortunately... I got no idea what the hell they're saying, so that's why I can't go into add to playlist. So only in the banger, but don't get me wrong, one of the best walkout songs in the UFC. Moving to the best walkout in the UFC currently, all time, in my opinion, the greatest walkout song ever goes to my boy Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. And if you guys are just a casual, then you guys won't know this, but Every single one of you guys should know this song. 
absolute classic fits him perfectly i literally have this song on my playlist now does that mean every time it comes on i do get very 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 depressed listening to it ever since ufc 298 100 percent. not gonna lie i've cried myself to sleep so many times but at the end of the day goaded walkout song goaded fighter just a perfect match for volkanovsky moving to another perfect match and added to the playlist uriah faber the california kid and if you guys have forgotten what his walkout song here it is California. Again, perfect walkout song for him. Of course, added to playlist, goaded. Such a perfect nickname and song combo. I do remember thinking to myself every time he walked out to the song was just goaded, was just perfect. But moving down the list, something that's not an added to the playlist, but into the banger, Patty the Batty Pimblet. Doesn't matter if you hate him or love him, every time he walks out, especially in the beginning, you can't deny that this place was just electric. I remember the first time he came out, and I'm pretty sure this was just on a fight night card, not even a pay-per-view card, and the place was deafening with all the cheering. Again, one of the best walkout songs for a UFC fighter. Now, the reason why it's not added to the playlist level is just because, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it does suit Patty extremely well. Moving down the list even further to another mid-category. Now, this one, just like Conor McGregor, I never really understood the hype for it. Khabib Nurmagomedov. If you guys don't remember what his walkout song here it is. And yeah, same thing as McGregor, honestly. I just, I didn't really understand the hype for it. But moving up the list, this walkout, always a fan favorite. And it is Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And if you guys are casual and you don't know what his walkout song here it is. <laughs> Honestly, so close to that banger spot. Honestly, if I had to rate them, I'd probably put Dustin at the very top of Goes Hard. So close to banger, but just not quite there. Then I'd probably move Silva to here. Could go to Goes Hard, but I didn't think it suits him very well. And you're not that guy, pal. I like it how it is right now, so far. But moving to another banger, we have Stipe Miocic. Honestly, this could be added to the playlist. I'm gonna have to put this one number one of Banger. If you don't remember what it is, here's his walkout song. Till I die, till I die, till I die. Honestly, just so, it's a cold song to walk out to. I wish more fighters came out to songs like this. Just a cold, intimidating song. Now, a song that's quite literally the opposite of a cold, intimidating song, but is still one of the best bangers probably right behind Stipe Miocic that is Steven Wonderboy Thompson you can't deny Wonderboy the song Wonderboy they just go together so well and if you guys are a filthy filthy disgusting casual and you don't know what his walkout song here it is <laughs> And yeah, just an amazing walkout song. I absolutely love it. Fits in perfectly. It could very well just go up to add it to the playlist. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, if you had to describe a walkout song, that's absolutely perfect from beginning to the end for a UFC fighter. Wonderboy already has it, hands down. Moving up to another banger. Now, this one could very well have been added to the playlist. But because of some of his losses and how he lost... Fortunately, it's just going to have to be Banger, and that is Robert the Reaper Whitaker. I'm going to put him right between Peter Yan. Actually, I think I'm going to put him above Peter Yan. I'm not going to lie. Bobby Knuckles with this classic Banger. Can be touch, can be now, let's say Robert Whitaker is still champion and never lost his belt to Izzy, never lost to Drickus. This could very well be one of the best songs, but, you know, it is what it is. Things have happened, but a banger of a walkout song, and it goes very well for Bobby Knuckles. Moving to, I believe this is the last You're Not That Guy pal on the list. That is the one, the only, the very delusional Ronda Rousey. <laughs> I hated this walkout song. I just hated the song in general, and I didn't think it fit Ronda's personality that great. Ronda was very almost just like stoic and mean mugged everyone, and I didn't think this song really was that great of a choice. Again, just like these three people, I think there could have been better options, but 
I think, me personally, I just didn't like the song at all, so I'm going to put it at number one. Moving to another banger. You know, as much as I don't like this guy, I'm not the biggest fan of him inside the cage recently or outside the cage at all, and that is John Wife Beater Jones. You can't deny that this song is just perfect for John Jones. The champ is here! The champ is here! Yeah. Walking in as the challenger or the champion, you already know the champ is here. I love this song. That was my walkout song for every UFC created fighter I had in the EA UFC games. And you know, it's gonna go right behind Alexander Volkanovsky. Great walkout song. Now, to put at the top of Goes Hard, very controversial, a lot of people love this walkout song, but the inactivity, the super razor close fights when we thought this guy could be the first triple champion. If you guys don't know who this is by now, it is of course Hamza Chemaev, the man who used to fight every other weekend is now fighting once a year. Again, if he was just a little bit more active, then I could probably justify bringing him up a little bit. But this song does go hard, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we have two more people left. This one, a recently retired fighter. Honestly, one of the best walkout songs ever. Now, I don't know if I can justify putting him in the add to playlist song, just because personally, not in my playlist but we were talking about how wonder boy has one of the best walkout songs that fits his name this one in my opinion might actually be better looking at it and that is the korean zombie again if you're a filthy casual and you have no idea what his walkout song here it is An absolute classic goes so well with him. And I'm so tempted to put him to the add to playlist. Now, finally, to finish this list off, another song that goes stupidly well for the nickname and for everything this guy is trying to accomplish. And there's probably something you guys are noticing on this list. All of these people look relatively normal, normal haircuts, nothing out of the ordinary, no crazy face tattoos, no dyed hair or anything. So... That being said, the final person on this list is going to be Sugar Sean O'Malley. And in my opinion, his walkout song is one of the best right behind Volkanovsky. Ever since he started using that walkout song, it just fit him perfectly. When he was walking out to that song for his title shot against Aljamain, Again, just one of the best walkouts in general, not including the walkout song or anything, just the walkout itself with everything on the line, all the talk, all of the I'm going to be the next Connor talk, all of it was put on the line and he showed everyone why he is a superstar. If you are what you say you are, a superstar, then how? Now, with that being said, I know a lot of you guys aren't going to agree with my list. I want you guys to comment down below. Did I miss any of your favorite fighters' walkout songs? Or did I completely mess up this list? I want to know in the comments below. Me, personally, I think this is perfect how it is. If you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like on this video and let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe with those post notifications turned on. It helps me so much with that YouTube algorithm and just shows that you guys are enjoying this content. And yeah, there's really not that much else left to say except for I will see you guys in my next video.